our diet secrets with the all-new cast of Celebrity Fit Club. Anytime you try to take on the challenge of weight loss, if you're not ready for it, you know, you kind of set yourself up. <laughs> My next guests are some of the bravest stars in Hollywood because they wage their once-hidden battles of the bulge in front of the cameras on VH1's mega-hit Celebrity Fit Club. VH1 is getting stars in shape with its hit series, Celebrity Fit Club. Half of Hollywood has already joined. Eight celebrities are separated into two teams and sent to a 100-day boot camp. Led by the whistle-blowing Sergeant Harvey Walden. I'm so scared of you. You have no idea. In season five, it's men against women. Activate the scale. We'll watch Ross the intern Matthews, Maureen McCormick, Debrat, Dustin Diamond, Kimberly Locke, Warren G, and Tiffany. Struggle to survive the toughest performance of their careers. Good luck, don't cheat, and remember, the scales don't lie. Marsha Brady, former child star and actress Maureen McCormick. that they called you to do a celebrity foot club. How did you feel when they called you? Awful. You felt <laughs> awful. Awful. I mean, just to admit that you need to lose weight is a really, really hard yeah. thing. So how did you go from going, I feel awful for this, but I'm going to do it? Well, I didn't want to do it. I had never done reality TV and um, had had some offers. And I went out to lunch with the producer, and he was really, really nice. But I thought, no, I'm still not going to do it. I went home, and I told my daughter, Natalie, and she said, oh, Mom, Celebrity Fit Club, you have to do it. So your daughter helped to get the push forward. She did. And then Tiffany, you just you were this pop star, and, like, I, I know Tiffany has a certain way. She looks a certain way. So did fans ever come up to you and say, oh, my God, Tiffany, you gained weight? Do they do, they do rude stuff like that? They did, did they? actually. I have a big gay fan base. So, and they a would come up and be base. like, big gay fan base. <laughs> and they would come up and be like, girl. <laughs> no. That's what so has happened to you? So, it, you know, really I didn't know because I was running around and I tore a lot and I'd put on sweats and I felt good about myself. Yeah. And I noticed a couple of times when I'd want to get, you know, diva out and put on dresses that I couldn't wear certain things. Got it. But when I saw fans take pictures of me and hand them to me to sign, there was, I would You're sign like, over my stomach, <laughs> <laughs> make my signature really big. Did you ever hook up with any boy bands back then? I did. New Kids you on the Block. You did? Yeah. So. You dated them? I dated Jonathan. Jonathan Knight. Oh, you did? So, yeah. Now you can say that without girls going, you know? <laughs> I can say it proudly now. All right. yeah. 
And Kimberly, why did you lose the weight? We had been asked a couple of times to do Celebrity Fit Club, and we said no, because as you know, I was Lane Bryant plus size model yes. for like a year and a half. And I just told my manager, I was like, you know what? I think I'm ready. It was like therapy, and I was ready to make that change in my life. And Celebrity Fit Club called, and then Jenny Craig called, so it was like, it was just, it just happened, and I think Got it was it. meant to be. So you're doing Jenny Craig too? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's it's been, you know, it's it's one of those things. Anytime you try to take on the challenge of weight loss, it's hard enough mm -hmm. when you're challenging yourself. Got it. You know, if you're not ready for it, you know, you kind of set ready. yourself up for failure. I mean, I just saw Kimberly the other night at uh, Kamora Lee Simmons, our, yeah. my friend and your friend. She was having a big party for her new KLS collection. Right. And Kimberly came up to me. She's like, "Hi, Tyra." And I was like, "Hi." I didn't recognize you. <laughs> and, and I was saying it was your hair. I thought it was the hair color, but she told me, Tyra, I lost a lot of weight. And I was like, maybe it was a combination, combination that made me say things. this is a new woman. Yeah. A new yeah. woman. It feels great. It feels it's good great. to not be recognized. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> and Ross. Yeah. Ross, the intern. Hi. <laughs> First, can I just I'm so excited to be here. Are you? I watch the show a lot. You watch it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see your before picture. Ross, your before picture is here. Ooh. Mm. That's a different person. A little bit. It feels like a different person, yeah. Does it? Mm -hmm. Is that your real voice, Ross? Yes. What kind? Is that your real hair tie, Ross? No! Ah! <laughs> so what you're saying is your voice is not real. No, my voice is totally real. I'm still waiting for puberty. One of these days, <laughs> it's going to hit. I wouldn't fake this, trust me. No? No. <laughs> and Warren G, I always knew you as the rapper. Yeah. As the, the skinny rapper, the thin rapper. Right. I, I don't even remember when you gained weight. Man, I gained a lot of weight. You did? How many pounds <laughs> yeah. did you, where, where were you at your biggest? Um, 224. Then really? I went down to 220. I went to the doctor, got a physical, and he told me if I'd have gained 20 more pounds when I was at 224, I was going to be eligible for high blood pressure and diabetes, and it runs in my family. Wow. So, you know, that's why I went on the show to, you know, to lose that weight. And to be healthy. And, you know, yeah. I remember I saw you at a party like years ago, 10 years ago, and you were across the room and all my friends were like, oh, he is so fine. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. We'll be right back. <laughs> Celebrity Fit Club Season 5, Boot Camp Sergeant Harvey Walden forces both teams to push far beyond their fitness limits. All right, here you go, your last event, the Stair Endurance Run. And you keep on going till your little legs can't do it anymore. Go! I really hate you. Go ahead! Yeah. Hit the wall, go through it! I love you. I love you too. Oh. Damn, I'm motivated! Yes! Look at that supporting cast! Well, man, this is incredible. This is what makes my job gratifying right here. And hanging out with the cast of the fifth season of Celebrity Fit Club, Maureen McCormick, Tiffany, Kimberly Locke, Ross Matthews, and Warren G. And every season, there's one celebrity who gets out of control on the show, so... Who was it this season? <laughs> Justin. Yeah. Justin. Justin Diamond. Diamond. Justin Screech. Diamond. Yes. Yeah. Screech. <laughs> Screech went crazy? He went crazy. What did he yeah, do? A little bit. What did he not do is a better question. Really? Exactly. Yeah. It's amazing what he did. Yeah. It's kind of sad, though, because I think that he really was a nice guy because he showed us that in very quick little short snippets. Yeah. <laughs> but he... I don't know what it was. It was... Um... He was different on camera and then off, off camera. camera. Oh, so you think he was trying to be the villain, maybe? Possibly. On camera? I think that his maybe. motive and his purpose for being there was completely different than the rest of us. Yeah. I think that's, that's the root of it. Got it. Um, so, but, you know, it, I think that it was such a positive experience for all of us that it's unfortunate that we had to deal with that type of drama. And when you the see the time. show, you'll know exactly what, what I'm talking, talking about. Now we all want to yeah. see it. Like, yeah. 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 You yeah. gotta see it. It's a lot of drama. Like, it's it's yeah. so, I'll apologize now <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> um, so Maureen, uh, how did you feel being, you know, Marsha Brady? Every little girl wanted to be Marsha Brady. Even when the Brady Bunch was in reruns. My black butt wanted to be Marsha Brady. <laughs> Everybody wanted to be when well, I was watching I'm it. Well, I'm honored. Wow. I did. I most definitely did. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Wow. And um, did you ever feel a pressure to maintain how Marsha looked? I did. Um, I think when it really hit me was when I, we were always tutored on the set, but I had to go back to a public school. 
mm. and I had a lot of girlfriends, and uh, I went through bouts of bulimia really? during high school and a little bit beyond that, and it was really, really difficult. I think the peer pressure when you're around other girls, it's, you know, yeah. really, really hard, and then, you're, of course, you're looking at TV, and I remember having to do shows in bathing suits, and I was just like... Like the Hawaii episode? Yeah, oh, that was so awful for really? me. Really? That was so awful. And, I, you know, I look at myself now and go, what was I worried about? What were you worried but about? It's all in here. It's crazy. It's all in here. It's yeah. absolutely... And I know you've, you've had some, some issues with drugs, and as well as the bulimia, and you're writing a book about it. I am. I'm writing a book right now about uh -huh. it, yeah, myself. And when does it come out? Uh, it should be out in about a year. I know one thing that we would probably want to hear about is, like... Um, your mom and your brother on the show. Ah, yeah, I just found out something about that. Something else? Yes. Can you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> well, just to fill everybody in, you know, the mom, Florence Henderson, and then the older brother, Greg, who's, what is his name, Barry? Right. They were, they were hooking up when they were on the show. They were an yeah. item. They were, they were Which boyfriend I and was, girlfriend. I was absolutely shocked at that. Actually, I saw Barry and Chris the other night at a party. Chris is the middle brother. Right. And I said, Barry, was it really true? And he looked at me and he said, yeah. And then he said that he cheated on me with Florence while we were together, so. You guys were dating? Yes. You were uh, dating your brother. <laughs> <laughs> and we were all dating. Oh, we were all dating. I mean, we were serious? on the show for so long and we were growing up. Could you imagine going through puberty? Hormones were going oh, crazy. Oh my God, so that was your boyfriend and he was... So your brother was your man, and, and he, he was sleeping with your my mother. mother. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just take a moment. Okay. I want to go to Tiffany now. Because, woo, I gotta, that, I'm got to. i going to buy that book. Woo, I'm going to buy that book. So, Tiffany, you were the princess of pop. You know, to, to explain it to some young kids that aren't familiar, that are, you know, don't know how big Tiffany was. She was like Britney Spears. She was huge. And when you look at those kids now, the Britneys and the girls that are going through rehab and dealing with, you know, just such, all this pressure, do you think that you would have crumbled how a lot of them are crumbling right now? Uh, probably. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's so much more pressure now um, than when I was, you know, I was able to just be the girl next door and mm -hmm. I didn't have to do hair and makeup or worry about what size I was and, and, you know, the biggest thing was dating. Like, mm. it wasn't okay to say I was dating someone. Mm. Um, you had to be a virgin you know, and sweet and yeah, never kiss. Yeah, you and know, and, and like, you know, I went through the whole emancipation thing with my family and mm. all that kind of stuff. So that was more drama than I was willing to kind of share, but Got it kind it. of was just out there. But, I mean, nowadays you have the pressure of your weight and your hair and makeup so and who you're dating, and it, it just gets really personal, mm. and your career. And you have, speaking of career, you got a new CD? I do. It comes yeah. out June 5th. So June I'm really 5th. excited, real excited, and start going out on the road and, you know, just get busy out there again. Nice. And now I'm ready, so. Now she's ready. <laughs> I hope everybody will be really excited about it. And tell us about your new CD. Um, yeah. Tell us about yours. It's coming out on May the 1st. Um, I've co-written about nine of the songs on the album, so I'm very proud of that. It's titled Based on a True Story, and it's based on a true story. It's based on a period of time in my life, about, a, uh, about six months to a year, maybe, of what I was going through. And What were you going through? Um, I was in a relationship. I was engaged. Um, went south very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and the whole writing process was very therapeutic. When you hear the truth from musical yeah. artists, it just touches us when we hear it. And we're like, She's went, she went through it. Yeah. And I'm going through it, too. And so I really decided to, to go ahead way. and do that. And I did. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, the dating know? and the stuff. Yeah, Ross, tell us about your dating. How's dating for you now? A dating? Yeah, well, okay. Well, How on this you? show, I might as well just tell you all. I just, I fell in love. The first, besides my dog, the first real relationship of my life. Really? With Maureen. <laughs> Maureen and I, they call us the showmance of 70 Fit Club. With Momo and yeah. Roro, we're Momo obsessed with each other. Do you want to kiss her? Do I want to kiss oh, her? Yeah. Come here, honey. Oh, my God. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Don't use tongue. <laughs> so, Maureen G, tell me, about, <laughs> tell me about your career in hip-hop. Do you think that you'll be, like, Selling more albums thinner or uh, the other body you had? Yeah, 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 I sell more albums thinner. Um, the only reason why I agree with you because, you know, we have Big Papa, we have Notorious B.I.G., yeah. and we had Big Pun and certain yeah. rappers that were big and it worked heavy D, but right. you were known as 
this body. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So now it's like Warren G is back. I'm back. And we can see that's the that's the guy ten years ago in the club, and I was like, well, he's oh, fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he's back. <laughs> Duff had a lot of fun. Everybody go get Hillary's new CD, Dignity. It's in stores now. And I want to thank you guys, the Castle Celebrity Fit Club, thank Maureen thank McCormick, you. Tiffany, Kimberly Locke, Ross Matthews, and Warren G. You guys look hot. And thank you. Want to see you. Care, so we'll keep watching. And go to my website, tyrashow.com, for more info. See you later.